today, we're asking you for a fresh baptism of your presence. We need power from heaven. And Jesus, you promised that you would send the promise of the Father and you would fill us, flood us, empower us with your Holy Spirit. And so Lord, we're asking you afresh and anew today that each and every one of us would receive a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we need the power from heaven to live victoriously on the earth. We need the power of heaven that actually comes and changes environments and atmospheres here in the world that we live in. Lord, our world is wood, hay, and stubble. This world is nothing but chaff. We're asking you, Lord, to bring, to bear the winnowing fan and bring the fire, the purifying presence of your spirit in our lives that begins to change the world around us. We just sang it a moment ago, but we said, your presence is like heaven. Heaven come. You know that when Jesus taught us to pray, he said, when you pray, pray like this. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. One of the things that prayer is, is recognizing when there are things in this earth that are not as they are supposed to be. They're not God's will and they're not as things are in heaven. But we don't just look at those things and say, well, that's just the way it is. We're called to be people of prayer. We're called to be people of action. And today I just really felt strongly that before we do anything else, we need to pray for what is taking place right now in our nation due to the death of a black gentleman in Minneapolis. We need to pray right now for the city of Minneapolis that right now is in flames and it is in the middle of civil unrest in response to the, the unjust murder of this man and the pain and the anguish that the African-American community is in as a result of it. And you know, uh, there are times when things like this happen that you can just say, well, that's an isolated incident. But if we're really honest with ourselves, we have a gaping wound in the collective soul of America. A gaping wound that has been there for a very long time that has affected people of color and has affected certain communities. And that is not at all the way God has designed the human heart or the human experience to be. The Bible says that God made all flesh, all men out of one blood. Division and hatred and even racism is not as it is in heaven. It's the result of the the fall, it's the result of sin, but as the people of God, we're called to not see things from two dimensions. We're called to see it through the lens of the kingdom of God and to grieve with those who grieve, to mourn with those who mourn, to lift up the hands of those who are weary that are drooping down and to speak for those who are oppressed and have no voice. Our prayers matter, church, and what we need is all across this nation is we need the church to rise up and be an expression of unity that God has made all of us one in Jesus. And so when one part of the body hurts, we all hurt. And right now our African-American brothers and sisters are hurting, they're grieving, they're frustrated, and rightly so. When they hurt, those of us who are white, those of us who are another ethnicity, we can't stand back and say, that's your issue. We need to step into that, lean into that, and we need to say, when you hurt, I hurt. And when you grieve, I'm gonna pray. Because what heaven is gonna be like, it says in the book of Revelation, I saw gathered around the throne, people of every tribe and every tongue and every people group and every nationality. Heaven is going to be diverse because the body of Christ is diverse. And so I want us to pray right now. Would you join me right where you're at at home but let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for what's taking place. This does not have to be a tragedy. This can become a tipping point of revival, and it starts with us as people of prayer. Lord, today we come before you 
And we pray for the city of Minneapolis. We pray for the family of this gentleman who lost his life. Lord, we're asking for justice to be done and we're asking for mercy upon the city. That Lord, that it would not go up in flames. It would not tip over into violence and responses of the flesh that are destructive. But I'm praying for every spiritual leader. I'm praying for every pastor. I'm praying, Lord, for every governmental official in that city to step forward and do the right thing, to be a voice of reason and to speak truth, for there to be repentance and for there to be a recognition of wrongs that have been done. But Lord, not just in Minneapolis, we're praying across our nation where racism has a deep history that we don't even like to talk about. But Lord, I'm praying right now and I'm asking, Lord, would you, would you do a miracle in our nation and start it in the church? Demonstrate to the world that only in Jesus can there be reconciliation and unity. Lord, would you heal our heart? We're sick and we're broken. We need the power of heaven to come to bear on our nation, to heal our soul. Start it in us, we pray. We grieve with those who are grieving right now. We pray that the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the comfort of brothers and sisters standing in support with them will begin the process of healing. Lord, we just confess we don't know. We don't know what we don't know. Well, we don't have all the answers, but we know that nothing is too difficult for you. Lord, step in today and be the Lord of all nations. Be the beautiful one, the healer, Savior and the Deliverer. We pray, and Lord, we're, we're asking that you begin it in us, not just someplace else. Do a work in us. Baptize us afresh in the power from heaven that changes and transforms everything that it touches. We're praying this today in the matchless name of Jesus. And right where you're at, join me in saying amen.